Sim Gamers! After a year of bug fixes and new features, I finally jumped into Elite Dangerous Odyssey and am having a lot of fun. Last time, we purchased a new starship, the Viper Mark IV, and took it on its maiden voyage. Today, we upgrade some components to make the ship more combat ready before heading out for our first space combat missions. That's coming up right now as we take our upgraded Viper Mark IV on its first interstellar bounty hunt. Hello, Sim Gamers. We're back with some more Elite Dangerous. Um, we have made our way to the LS, LHS uh, 3589 system, um, which wasn't too far where, away from where we were last time. But I moved over here because it's a high tech system with like 24 million people. So there are going to be lots of great missions, parts, upgrades. Um, Pretty booming place, and uh, within 1500 light seconds of the central star is a space station, the Rusa Gateway. So we'll take a look to see what we can find here as far as upgrades for our ship, different types of ships available, different types of missions, ground and space. But first, we have to get here and dock. We'll go ahead and Pop ourselves into cruise assist at this point, just to make it a little easier while I chat with you all. So, how's it going? How are things? Taking care of yourself? You getting your medications on time? Healthy diet? Plenty of fluids? Little exercise? I always like to upgrade my ship completely not necessarily get it fully engineered, but definitely up upgraded. Um, and then save up enough money for the next sort of ship that I want to get. Core internal. Let's go ahead and continue our quest to derate our stuff. Um, can I f mount? Uh, see, class 4. They don't have any 4As, but they do have 4Ds. A 4C would get me the most range out of this thing. 12.53 light years laden. That cost is 178,000. Sure. I'm going to store my modules. I want to sell my modules. Okay. Um, can I derate my thrusters? That'd be awesome. To upgrade thrusters. How about the power plant? If I switch out to a 4D, my ship gets a little lighter with a little bit more jump range. Cool. What type of shell bank um, can this thing take? This thing can take a class three shield cell bank. Probably don't need a cell bank at this time. Um, we have our big cargo racks. 3E generator. Let's see if we can't find a better shield generator. A 3D has um, significantly less in integrity. So up to a 3C for the shield generator. Um, that'll have to do for now. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and take a threat level 1. Known pirate. Terry uh, <clears throat> Heinrich. He Heinrich. For 300,000 credits. Over in Gilgamesh. So 
this should be a space combat mission. Which is right next door. Easy peasy. Okay. Um, the only thing I'm missing that I kind of wish I had were heat shield. Um... The, uh... The, uh... Basically, port of, what are they called? <clears throat> heat sinks, yeah, that I could launch. Launchable heat sinks. But I think I'll be alright. If nothing else, I can run away. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to our combat setup. This is a traffic warning, Commander. Please make way for oncoming ships. There are no oncoming ships. All right, let's get underway and see what a threat level one person looks like. For 300,000 credits, single target. <clears throat> I hope I don't have to pull him out of hyper uh, super cruise because I don't have a module for that yet. We've got a lone location. Um, man, we have some big stations around here. Scan the nav beacon and use the discovery to <clears throat> signal source. Target. Bingo. Got it. Okay, so I mentioned before we might need to use... Um... The discovery scanner to locate certain part, certain things like our target. We have clearly identified where it is. Okay, our threat one mission target locked in. And we're coming in for the hunt. Go ahead and switch over to combat mode because I know we're going to need it. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and submit. Viper Mark III versus a Viper Mark IV. Federal incident response is going to be showing up here briefly. Locked on. Open fire. Since I'm in superior firing position, I don't need shields right now. Doing what I can to work on this guy's shields. Shield. Shields are down.
Not bad. We'll go ahead and pick up our additional rewards. So not only uh, do we get the the um, mission payment, but we also get to collect a bounty for this gentleman. I would actually kind of like to do. I think we got a little extra time in the um, in the window here. Actually, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these. Uh, Unknown signal sources. So we're back in the signal scanner, just taking a look at what we have around here. Encoded signals. Degraded transmissions. Encoded emissions. Degraded emissions. This is a convoy dispersal pattern. Weapons fire. Let's go back to these filters. I want signal sources and point of interest. Weapons fire threat one. So what we're doing here is taking a look. We scanned uh, some un unknown unknown signal sources using the uh, discovery scanner and the our um, FSS, and we found a threat one weapons fire signal. Uh, so we're just going to go investigate. To see what, if anything, we can find here. I'm going to go ahead and set up Super Cruise Assist to automatically drop me out of Super Cruise at the right time. <clears throat> we're going to come in weapons hot. I want to make sure that I don't... Divide power between engines and shields for the first encounter. And we'll just take a look at what's uh, going on in here. Okay, we have... In front of us, we have... Federal Security Service Eagle. Engaging... A wanted criminal central group crate. Diverting power to weapons. Engaging. Now this crate is a rather large ship compared to mine, so we have to, you have to be somewhat careful about what kind of punch it can fit. <clears throat> But hopefully he's distracted and focusing on this uh, Federation ship. I'm going to equally distribute my power between weapons and lasers so I can maneuver, keep myself maneuver for better shots. Dude, shields are almost out. Shields are down and we're putting fire downstream with the old multi-cannons. Ooh, that thing is brutal when it gets a hold of me. Need to rebalance and get my shields back up. Let's go ahead and boost away a bit. Well. Looks like Sim Gamers got himself into a pickle. The only way out is if you subscribe and enable notifications below. Now, back to the action. Taking internal damage. Canopy integrity at 50%. OK, 
Okay, if we can keep that crate occupied. Target shields online. He's almost done. Target shields offline. Target destroyed. That sucked. <laughs> Once that ship got weapons on, it was dangerous for us. Let's get ourselves to a space station for some much needed repairs. Closest one apparently is Marlet Hub, which is <clears throat> by the faction we want to talk to. And we'll take on some repairs from that. <laughs> that was, uh... Three, two, one, those crates pack a punch. Now this is a much bigger starport. Then uh, the sort of system I'm calling home. It's not the biggest starport available, though. This is an Orbis starport. The other one, that dodecahedron-shaped one, is um, uh, Coriolis starport. place must be industrial. I can tell by the station layout. Alright, well. We only have 600 bucks for the repairs to execute. We spent more money on ammo than anything else. Um, We are going to collect this bounty while we're here. That's the whole reason we came here. So, contacts. Uh, administrative contact. Intel packages, codex. 122,000 bounty. Thank you. Fines, no fines, none of that. No interstellar factor, huh? Uh, search and rescue contact. <clears throat> we have one black box for 31,000. We have some wreckage components. The only thing we have left now is this, um, to go collect this back at LHS, um, LHS, uh, 3589. So I want to keep, uh, an eye on that. The reason is, I might be able to find a cheeky little mission for LHS 3589. There's a nice delivery to LHS. Oh, there is. Takedowns. So I could just go back and forth between these two places. Um... Some corporate espionage going on, and I don't have faction for anything else. I'm going to go ahead and get back to my home station before I can collect my other 300,000 credits. Before looking at anything else. Control is now online. Follow sanction 
enforcing procedures within port confines. Authorization cleared. Please land on pad 06. All right. You are go for automated docking. Enjoy the ride, Commander. As auto docking takes over, we can wrap up here. We managed to. Uh, we still need to get our get paid, but um, we took around took down our known target. So we're gonna get paid three hundred thousand for that. They had a bounty in the system, and then which they were in for a hundred another hundred twenty-two thousand. Um, we managed to pull in like uh, maybe ninety thousand in additional credits by doing uh, finding a. Uh, basically pr completing a search and rescue. We found a degraded signal source that had some extra stuff. Docking confirmed. Dispatching ground crew. You're all checked in, Commander. Enjoy so let's go ahead and finish off this mission. Completed missions. Do I want... See, if I'm going to be doing missions in the area, I could take the money. Or do I take a lot of reputation? Nah, I want to get paid. So, the Party for Equality gains a little bit of influence. <clears throat> um, got a little bit of faction out of the deal. And there we have it. That's going to be it for this episode. Almost. Let's take a look at what upgrades are available. Now that I have 600,000 credits in the bank, uh, one thing I definitely need that I didn't have before, um, we're going to go ahead and uh, insert a heat seek launcher. And a chaff launcher, which will break gimbaled and turreted weapon locks momentarily. Still aren't going to have enough for any improved thrusters or frame shift drive. They don't even sell a improved frame shift drive that I want. Thrusters. Um, yeah, 4A thrusters are like 1.6 million. And they take up more power than our ship can output anyway. So the 4D power plant would have to be upgraded to at least a 4C. If not a 4B. Um, but we now have heat sinker, uh, heat sinks and chaff loaded up for future space combats that's it for this episode i will likely um wait until something more exciting is happening either i'm doing something new or i'm dropping in a new ship or basically there uh for future episodes i'll omit additional episodes just for the grind and play this out for a little while and um when I do upgrade my ship or do something cool, then I'll definitely make an episode out of it. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe, like, leave a comment below. Um, hit the notifications if you are interested in these videos or the other videos that I'm doing for the other games on my channel. Until then, I'm Sim Gamer, and this has been Elite Odyssey.